Susan Brownrigg and I'm a time tunneler and it's Women's History Month so I thought I would tell you about two women that inspired my children's book Quintana and the Captain's Curse. This is a pirate adventure set on the island of Nosy Boraha just off the coast of Madagascar. Quintana is who wants to become a pirate like her pa Israel Hands. You might know him from Treasure Island. Now, there were female pirates, and two of the most famous are Anne Bonny and Murray Reed. So, Anne Bonny was born in Ireland. She was the daughter of an unmarried couple, um, a lawyer and his maid, and that was very scandalous at the time. So much so that they set off to America for a new life. Her father became a rich merchant, and Anne was very much sought after as a bride. Even at the age of 13 or 14, she had lots of suitors. But she wasn't interested in any of them. Like a lot of teenagers, she ran off with someone quite unsuitable. A penniless nader well who took her to a pirate's lair. Now, very soon she realised her new husband wasn't a very nice man. And she noticed um, a young pirate called calico jack rackham and she was very taken with him so much so that she ran off with him and disguised herself as a sailor and she took her cutlass and her pistol and she went to fight alongside calico jack they attacked lots of different coastal traders and fishing boats in the area and then they set their sights on a merchant sloop now when they captured the sloop there were lots of young sailors on board and Calico Jack wanted them to become pirates too so he made them sign their articles. One of the sailors was a very handsome Dutch man and Anne was very taken with him. So much so that Calico Jack became extremely jealous and was going to kill them both. But Anne said don't, it's not what you think. It turned out that this Dutch sailor was in fact a young English woman and her name was Murray Reed. Now when she was young her mother had disguised Murray as a boy. It was done as a way to, of deceiving relatives after the death of her brother. Murray went on to marry um, a young man who sadly died of fever and she then obviously ended up on this sloop disguised as a Dutch sailor. Now, when the two pirate women and Calico Jack were in Jamaica in 1720, they were captured and they were put on trial for piracy. And it wasn't looking very good for the three of them at all. But there was a surprise at the trial. Mary and Anne pleaded their bellies and that meant that they were pregnant. They wanted to be pardoned because they were going to be having babies. Very sadly, um, Mary died of fever before her baby was born. But nobody knows what happened to Anne. No record of her execution has been found. And some people wonder if her rich merchant father was able to save her, to rescue her and the baby. Well, I hope you've enjoyed finding out about female pirates. For your writing challenge this week, I would like you to imagine you are either Anne Bonny or Mary Reed and write a short story explaining what it was like to be disguised as a pirate, to be on the seas, capturing ships and looking for treasure. Well, I look forward to seeing you again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.